Um, I want to make an update. I got the five and a quarter inch floppy drive the other day from floppydisk.com. Got 50 discs with it and a couple other stuff. And I uh, had a few problems with it. It's uh, the name of it is a Mitsumi and Neutronics model DS50095 or V5 or something. But the problem I had was just the computer would not recognize it. I tried it on another one, just nothing. Act like there was nothing plugged in. Um, also, what gave it away is the light would never come on and the head and the bottom would just never move at all. It's like nothing no response. The only sound of life was a buzzing sound coming from here and when you touched it it felt a bit warm and I didn't know exactly what was wrong. Um, but what the problem was is, I don't know if that'll focus, that well it has um, a little bit of grease and stuff but there's a thin piece of metal where the head actually locks onto the little gaps in between the motor or the motor metal piece. That was dislodged or misaligned, it was like sitting on top and just that little thing just made the whole drive like not do anything, it just made the buzzing sound it didn't have a light or anything it wasn't spinning but yeah, all you had to do was just all I had to do was just take the uh, front cover off, it's only two screws so um this is the uh, shell and there's two screws, you just had to take that off and then all you literally just had to do was just grab the front and just pull it down a bit. You had to put a little bit of force, but yeah, moved it down, restart the computer. All of a sudden, it now picks it up. And before that, I was spending like several days trying to work out if it was a cable or if it was this. I thought that the drive was broken, but really it was just the head dislodged. And for some reason, that one little thing makes the drive not recognize, not do anything. But yeah, it's pretty simple. But, yeah, I thought I'd make that video. Now I've got to somehow screw this shit in. There we go.